Hey guys, this is Steven from Real Anime Training. Uh, today we're going to talk about something that people have been requesting and asking about, wanting to see. We're going to talk about One Punch Man. Uh, One Punch Man has the main character Saitama, and he is ridiculous. He destroys his enemies in single strikes. Just at no point in the entire series up to this point has he even been remotely challenged. Um, his training program, people always seem to scoff at it when they see it because it's so simple. Um, his training program is 100 push-ups, 100 sit-ups, 100 squats, and 10K of running every single day. Um, for three years. And uh, the intensity was so crazy, he, he felt this immense pain in his body, and all his hair fell out, and then at some point he became ridiculous. Um, now, if you do a program like that, you're probably going to get in shape, but don't think that you're going to end up being able to like topple a skyscraper with a punch or anything like that. You're going to be in pretty decent shape, but that, that's about it. Um, however, that being said, there are a couple of things that you can, you can do to make the workout um, fit you, and um, if you wanted to do it every day, um, I'm going to give you some guidelines about how to not can constantly destroy the same movement patterns over and over and over again, because you want to give yourself time to recover, um, even if you're just doing simple things like push-ups and sit-ups. Um, so, first of all, push-ups. The basic push-up at the top of the motion. You want your hands not di directly facing forward, but kind of turned out to the side a little bit, like you're making a check mark with your with your hands. My arm, my hands are directly underneath my shoulders, as far as positioning goes. And then as I go down, I'm tucking my elbows back, and my hands are directly beside my chest. I'm looking for vertical forearms at the bottom here. Obviously, you're not going to hang out. I'm just showing you the, the point here. And then what you're going to do is you're going to press up, and it's going to naturally come back. Okay? Um, that would be just a basic push-up for you to be able to do. Uh, something that you can do for to change up your push-ups if you're doing this workout every day or if you're... Um, doing something a little bit different is you can change your hand position. So you can go wide. You can go very, very, very close. Diamond. Okay. Um, you can even do some different kinds of push-ups just to change it up a little bit. You can do like a Spider-Man push-up. You can do a Hindu push-up. Dive bomber push-up. So lots of different little variations to your push-ups. And I would really recommend doing that just so that you can work the muscle a little bit differently and you're not constantly doing the same thing. Another thing for your push-ups in general, and the squats and the, the sit-ups, you can do as many reps as you can, or you can break it up into sets of 10, sets of 20, sets of 25. Um, you can pyramid it up. Don't always do the exact same thing. Change it up, hit the muscle a little differently, um, and especially if you do Let's say you did 100 straight push-ups on Monday. You may not want to do 100 straight push-ups on Tuesday. You might want to do 10 sets of 10. And you're still getting your reps in, but you're not killing yourself trying to max out all the time. Because you need to give yourself time to recover. Now, for the sit-ups, variations with that, one really easy variation is just using a decline bench. So this isn't super decline, but the, the general idea remains the same. We're a little bit further than being completely flat on the ground. So it makes it a little bit more difficult. Do 
doing exercise on the ground, you have a couple of options too. I can have my feet here, fingers here, hands here, sit up. I can do like a butterfly sit up. Just to be a little bit different, I can spread my feet. Makes it a little bit different in that respect. Um, if you have a position where you can hang, you can do a hanging sit up. You can do a sit up while holding weight. Um, you can do a sit up while holding weight in one hand. Lots of different ways to change it up and make it more difficult um, or maybe even less difficult. Um, squats. Lots of different options for you here. Basic squat wants to start out just about shoulder width apart, your feet. What I want you to think about is I want you to take your glutes and squeeze those together. And that brings your hips forward. Watch what happens when I squeeze my glutes. Brings those hips forward. Now what you want to do is you want to squeeze your abdominals a little bit to lock that hip position in place. And I want to take my big toe and I want to push it in the ground a little bit like I'm trying to grip the ground. And I want to start rotating externally at the knee. Just opening everything up. What I'm doing right now is I'm taking the slack out of the system. And now as I squat, I want to break first with my hips. I don't want to go with my knees. I want to break first with my hips. Go back. You can go parallel, below parallel, and up. And when you come up, what I want you to think about is I want you to think about driving your knees out, driving, driving your feet out like you're trying to rip a piece of paper in half. Also with the squats, you can change your foot position. It doesn't always have to be just outside shoulder width. You can try very close squats. This is going to be very hard. It follows the same basic mechanics as the other squat, except your feet are close together. This is going to require a lot of mobility and a lot of balance. So, hands out. Squat, 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 squat. You may not be able to go down all the way, but you're going to have to drive your knees out just a little bit. And then stand up. Um, wide sumo stance. And really focus on driving those knees out, down, up, okay? You can come a little bit closer with that same sumo stance, down, up. And that's just going to work the legs and the butt a little bit differently. Um, you can do a Hindu squat, which from the side, it's a very quad dominant squat, you can follow completely different rules from the other squat. Hands in, go behind your back, down. Here, knee pop, hands, and then up. So I'm going to breathe in opposites of a normal squat. In. So that's another option for you to do uh, squats on there. Um, also, something that you can do is you can do squats with weight, sit-ups with weight, push-ups with weight, if you're looking to the point where you have, you need more than just body weight exercises. Because you don't always want to do just the body weight exercises at the same rep count all the time. Because you're not going to get any stronger after a certain point. What's going to happen is your body's going to adapt to the movements, you're going to become more efficient at them, and you're actually going to start losing muscle because your body doesn't require as much muscle to do the same amount of work. So, Adding weight to your push-up, sit-up, squats every now and again is actually a really great idea and it's something that I would really recommend doing. And you can do that with a back squat, front squat, so back squat with the barbell, uh, like that, front squat with the barbell. You can also do it with uh, weight here, like a goblet squat, holding it here, squat, drive, um, you can do jump squats, but the point is, it's just guidelines, 100 push-ups, 100 sit-ups, 100 squats. Alright, with running, running 10K, for, for many people running 10K is not a huge deal. 6.2 miles, it's not going to kill you unless you have zero cardio and it might kill you. Um, <laughs> but uh, running every single day is rough because you don't really have time to recover and it's going to be hard on your joints and hard on your bones if you're not used to that. But what I would suggest um, is starting out 
with a smaller amount of running, maybe start with a mile and then gradually add to it until you get up to the point where you're doing uh, 6.2 miles and if you're going to end up doing it every day. Um, now, with the running, I would say that it doesn't always have to be the same pace. Uh, you can run the same, you can run a continuous pace for 6.2 miles or you can do sprint, recover, sprint, recover, sprint, recover. You can run 3.1 miles in the morning, 3.1 miles in the evening. Um, you can run backwards for a time. You can side shuffle for a time. Um, generally, just as long as you're moving in the same, in a forward direction for 6.2 miles over the course of whatever day that is. Uh, you can run hills, you can run in the sand, you can run on trails, you can run, um, if you're looking for a really hard day, you can run a little bit with a weighted vest or run a little bit with a pack or a pulling a sled of some sort. That's much more advanced, I would say. Um, but the, the general idea is that you are just running. And like I said, it doesn't have to be the same movement. And I recommend it that you change it up. Change up what you're doing, change up your course, change up your style of running, uh, as far as front, back, side, that kind of stuff. Um, sprinting, because it's really going to help you affect all of your muscle groups uh, and the muscle fibers differently. Because if you always run at a slow pace, you're going to get better at running at a slow pace. If you want to get faster, you got to run faster. So if you want to do sets of maybe uh, 100 meters 10 times, that's 1,000 meters. So that's 1K of your 10K. And then later in the day, you can go, you know, do a nice easy run with the remainder of your um, 6.2, which you can go do that at a nice little easy pace, and you've got your speed work in the morning, and you've got your mileage out here. Um, after a while of doing this, um, I can guarantee you that your, your general fitness is going to go up, especially if you're having hard and easy days and pushing yourself with your speed work and um, uh, weights on, on different stuff as far as sit-ups and squats and that kind of thing. And you're going to feel a lot uh, stronger and faster. Like for instance, yesterday I did uh, front squats. Um, I did five sets of five and then I did some singles after that. Only added up to about uh, with the warm-ups that added up to about 45 reps. That's not very, you know, that's not 100. So what I did was at the end of my workout, I just added 55 body weight squats. I got to 100, still did 100 squats, but 45 of those were at a much higher intensity, which allows me to be able to push my strength while still maintaining my volume. So there's lots of different stuff you can do, and I imagine that if you were going to attempt something like this, that you would eventually want to um, want to follow in that way where you had a hard, easy day, hard, easy day. And that way, at the very beginning, your hard days might be just 100 push-ups, 100 sit-ups, 100 squats, 10K to running. And you're like, oh my god, I can't believe I had to do all of that crap. And then your easy day is maybe just a you know, quarter of that. But later on, as you get better at it, your hard day might be 10, uh, 10 sets of 10 of back squat with 225 pounds. And then with uh, your push-ups, you might be wearing a 25 pound weighted vest. Sit-ups, you might be having, you might have 45 pounds doing sit-ups. And then your easy day is just 100 push-ups, 100 sit-ups, 100 squats, and 10K at running. And that, in that way you've progressed because what used to be hard is now easy. But you're still pushing yourself on your hard days. Um, so it's a really fun idea to play with. It's really a, a very nice um, concept if you don't just get stuck in the rigidness of 100 push-ups, 100 sit-ups, 100 squats, 10K of running. Because that is a good way to end up getting injured by doing the exact same thing the exact same way over and over and over again. If you're going to try to do something that is similar, you need to change it up a little bit so that you're hitting your body differently and that you're working different muscle fibers. Well, that's all for today, guys. Thank you very much. Good luck. Train hard.